Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're sort of doing some camping prep because we're going camping this weekend to uh, Somerset, which we've been to before. Um, but what actually happened a couple of weeks ago was the solar panel that I mounted on my roof on the canopy here blew off doing 100 k's on the highway and it was only holding on by one of the wires. So when the solar panel blew off, I quickly tested it with the multimeter I had in the back and uh, it was showing voltage so I assumed that it didn't short and it, and it didn't blow up but um, when I reinstalled it like a week or two later it uh, it doesn't really have any amps behind it like it's got the voltage but it doesn't have the power to charge the battery so either the reg's dead or the, um, the solar panel itself is dead so what I've done is I've saved myself some drama because we're going camping this weekend I thought get it all done I bought a new solar panel and over here I have a little bit better of a regulator so uh, this one's a little bit different because the other one had the wires coming out and then you got to solder onto the wires this one you just bring wires up the bum of it and uh, then you just use like a Phillips or a flathead to screw it in and it's got a lot more information on this one so um, there's a form that it comes with but it's got like your battery voltage what the solar panels putting in um, how high the battery is in charge so uh, it's good because the state of charge and all that's very important and the voltmeter that I currently have in the cab is just a voltmeter It doesn't show well I mean it shows how much power the fridge is drawing But the way I set it up doesn't show how much power is being put back into the battery. So um, It's going to be good to have that and the other thing that I'm going to try and do today is um, We have an 80 litre water tank under the truck and I'm going to try and plumb it up So I've made this up a long time ago. It's just a hose tail with a ball valve and I'm gonna screw that somewhere under the tray and uh, we're gonna have somewhere to wash our hands and do our dishes because the place we go to, you gotta walk a couple hundred meters just to get to a tap. So um, gonna try and install that as well. And if we have time, I would like to finish polishing up this fridge here. Just move that. And if we have time, I'd like to finish up polishing this fridge. So it's a used fridge and it used to be in one of those bags. So it's just got marks on it. And if you have a look here, I hit it with just quickly I hit it with a bit of polish on this side and it came up uh, 10 times better so if we can get all that done uh, change the solar rig wire it up have the solar panel ready water in the tank so I got to do fill and a um, the hand wash system and if we can get the battery in and I want to wire it a little bit different like sort of reconfigure it a little bit because um, I realized that the solar panel wasn't actually fused which isn't great so I want to try and sort all that water tank fridge staying camping exciting so now that the panel is off uh, I'm probably just going to take this off first this old solar controller and uh, see if the other one even fits in that spot because it's a lot bigger I don't think it will eh? honestly I don't think it's going to fit there but anyway I mean it can hang over it's not the end of the world nobody sees in here apart from you guys so that's cool, um, but I'm going to dewire that, basically cut everything because there's no battery hooked up at the moment because I've had it on charge, so there's no voltage in here whatsoever, so we can just snip away and uh, yeah, then we can start hooking the other one up. Goji berries. Let's get it started in here. <laughs> Am I still filming? <laughs> How I had that wired in was the solar output so we had solar in then the solar regulated output came to uh, the positive wire coming straight from the battery the pretty much this wire down here that would sit on the positive terminal of the battery went straight to the top of here so that means that if that's connected to that it's technically going back to the battery but what I didn't realize or think of at the time was that nothing there is fused so all I'm going to do on the new one is uh, I'm going to put the 12 volt uh, sorry the solar output onto this guy here and we're going to put a 15 amp fuse in that way if anything ever jumps up it shorts out and it bumps over that 15 amp it's going to pop here it's not going to fry the whole system catch on fire and we're going to have to bust out the fire extinguisher so I am happy that that is being done everything happens for a reason maybe the solar panel blew off for a reason because I could change this so we didn't have a fire in the cabin it didn't burn all the wood in the cup all right so now that that bad boy's up all of all I can do because it's so large compared to the other one is just put two screws in it because if I try and I mean they are on the board but if I try and screw through there I've only got a certain size window inside of here so the screws are going to foul on this 
Um, so that's fine. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. And next step is going to be, I'll probably quickly wire this up um, for solar out to the battery and then we'll jump onto the roof and do the solar panel and then wire it in. So, so you can see here that there's a little mesh thing. That's uh, the solar panel. You've got a picture of a battery here. That's just your battery. And you've got the option of if you want to take out a regu regulated uh, voltage out of here. So say if you had some lights or something that you just wanted to keep wired in. Uh, up here we've got two USBs and we've also got some buttons for our settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this positive here uh, back through this hole and down through to uh, one of these fuses. And I'm going to put a 15 amp fuse in. Then I'm going to run the negative to the negative on here. So what that means is that the battery voltage coming out, so we got solar coming in and battery voltage coming out, we got the negative going to the negative, and then on the back of there we have this main negative wire here which goes to the battery, and we have the positive going into the positive, it goes through the fuse block, up through, and back down to the battery. So we're fused, and uh, it is running back to the battery. So that's our solar output sorted, and then all you gotta do is run your positive and your negative wire from your solar panel, up the bottom of it and it's as simple as that like this solar is the easiest thing on the, in the world to work with you just got to be careful that you're putting pluses on pluses and negatives on negatives and you're not shorting anything out so just for peace of mind that wire can go through there about there Make sure you can't pull them out. Right, so that's the positive wire done for the battery output, which means that he's running down to here. Once you put a fuse in, he's technically connected to the battery. Uh, so next, we're just gonna run the negative to this one. Same process, just with a black wire. And yeah. Okay, so we've got the uh, positive and negative in on the battery side here. So on the battery picture, plus and negative, all hooked up which means that the solar output is actually good to go. So once we get solar feed into there um, and put a fuse in and put the battery back in, technically, as long as I've done everything right, it should all work. So the next step is gonna to be to jump up on the roof and remove the old solar panel, frisbee that thing as far as I can, and um, yeah, get the new panel up there and then run the wires back through the wall and up the bum of that solar controller. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so this is the new panel, and it looks like, just coming out the box here, they've added two eyelets. And that is the reason that this thing blew off on the highway. Like, what happened is I had screwed in these with washers and everything, like, really nicely. But it must have just picked up enough air under this middle section here, and it just pulled, it actually pulled the eyelet out of the uh, solar panel itself. So all four eyelets were still there. Uh, so they've obviously added those two eyelets in because this might have happened to other people which is cool, that's great. All right, so over on these uh, little control boxes here, you'll notice right down there, we've got a little plus symbol, and on the other side, we've got a minus. Um, that's obviously telling us which wire is which. Now, you avoid your warranty if you cut these off, but I don't know what type of uh, plug they are, so I'm cutting them off. So as you can see, this is the old panel. Um, so once it blew off, I actually made a little bit of aluminium strip just to lay across it so it never happened again because uh, I thought that this panel was still working, but it's not. But as you can clearly see here, there's no eyelet in the middle. So they've added that, which is great. So I don't think that's ever gonna happen again. I'm still gonna use that. Right guys, so that's the whole solar panel done. We've got screws and big washers in the bottom section and in the top section we've got screws, big washers, plus a aluminium bar running across the whole thing with screws and washers in every eyelet. This thing should not go anywhere. I'll be very surprised if it comes off. The other one's been frisbeed over there into the drain. Good news. Next step's gonna be getting these wires 
down there, I'm gonna have to chop them off. Uh, like I said before, you wanna be very careful chopping these. Don't chop them at the same time. Um, there probably is a little bit of voltage coming off this panel even just now. So I'm gonna chop them, put them through, and then we're gonna uh, go into the other side of the canopy and have a look what we can do on the other side. So I've put tape over the positive just to avoid the shorting out that we spoke about. Put them down the gland. Put the nut on first, eh? So just try that. All right, so I've taped up the positive wire. Um, like I said before, don't want it short now. I've got these two spread apart so that when I do join these on, it's not going to short out. Alright, so there's no way in hell that's coming apart. Sure, you char grill some of the wire, but that doesn't really matter now, does it? Now, like I said before, you always do your positive wire first, and that's so... Um, if your positive touches the frame, it's not actually a complete circuit because that's not touching the frame, so. <laughs> Say it again. See that? Nostril <laughs> strobe, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so I've ran the, the wires back behind the board and I took this off just to make it easier and make sure I get the wire up there. Oh, yeah, that's gone up for sure. So make sure it's in the plus. All right, so you make sure they're both nice and tight and that they're not going to pull out. And you put a bit of weight on them. All right, so that should be the solar done. So as you guys can see here, um, we've got our lights back on, but the voltage on this one's a little bit off and I kind of knew it was because my multimeter wasn't reading exactly that. But over here on this screen, you can see we're 12.7 volts and uh, we've got a solar light, a battery filling up, and some little light bulb thing. So it all seems to be working as far as I can tell, which is good. 12.7 volts, we've got a full battery. Um, tomorrow in the morning, I'll check it, and hopefully it says a little bit higher than that. But that's all done. Uh, we've got a 15 amp fuse in line, which means that if that ever blows up, uh, we've got an issue there. But Next step's going to be, I can't forget about this waterproof gland, I'm just going to lay some silicon in it and uh, do it up. Then I'm going to polish the fridge up and put that in. And uh, then we're sort of running out of time, Alicia's getting bored, so uh, probably end it after that. But real quick, I'm just going to polish this fridge and uh, see how it turns up, see how it turns out, and uh, have a quick tidy up. So let's get into it. All right, guys, with that, we are done for the night. It's been another late night, late-ish, it's about 10 o'clock. The new solar panel is on. It's the exact same one as before, so it's not that exciting, but it's still kind of exciting to have this working again um, and to trial out this new uh, solar reg. So, I mean, bigger normally means better, and I just like the way the wires go up it and then you've got the screw connection instead of actually soldering on. Uh, so, didn't get the water tank done, which is a shame, but things happened it's getting late and we want to get some food so thank you guys for watching if you would like to see more please subscribe and i will catch you next time all right and one more thing before we pack up uh, i just want to show you i changed the position of the rock lights so uh, i actually moved the light out towards the end of the guard because if you look in the video where i installed them i moved them like pretty in towards the guard so i mean towards the center of the car so if we turn the app on now it looks much better, like much more of the light is hitting the ground, so it's definitely way cooler. And now, yeah, we get a much better effect than we were the other night. It looks so sick, actually. So yeah, but I'll just let you guys know that. So now, really, thank you for watching. Bye.